quarantine even longer. Many are heading to their summer homes on Cape Cod, but some people who live full time on the Cape are signing a petition to shut down the Sagamore and Bourne bridges, with the exception of medical personnel or trucks carrying essential supplies. When we go to like the grocery store or anything, all you see is Connecticut plates, um, New York plates. So there's been a huge influx, even in my neighborhood. I have um, New York residents here already, and they're usually not here till you know the end of June. Last week, we spotted license plates from all over the country on the Cape, and some people who live there, along with local officials, say the influx of early visitors could spike the number of cases. We only have two small hospitals here on the Cape itself. They just can't handle it right now. They don't have the staff and they don't have the means. So people come in over here to be at their summer houses. It's, we, a lot of people feel it's selfish. Not everyone who lives on the Cape agrees with the idea. One homeowner emailed us this response. Let's remember there are approximately 222,000 year-round residents on the Cape. This petition and its 5,000 signatures do not speak for all of us. But some feel more people on the Cape equals more cases of the coronavirus. It's spreading it because they're not staying home. They're going out to the beaches. Monitor these people. Make sure they're staying in their houses for two weeks instead of spreading it. And remember, the governor has asked all travelers entering the state to quarantine for at least 14 days. In the newsroom, Brandon Gano, 7 News. Now, if you need help getting answers about the outbreak, the state has set up a number that you can text 